Assalamu alaikum, it's Farah and I'm here with some um, top tips um, that you might like to consider if you are going to Umrah. This is very, whoopsie daisy, this is very practical um, advice, it's not rocket science, um, just some things that you, you might like to consider which um, hopefully you'll find helpful. <laughs> I would strongly suggest that when you went to Umrah you go with family members because you need to be with people, you need to look after each other. It's very difficult if you're there on your own. Make sure you take everything you need with you, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, whatever. You might think, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll buy it from there. You can, you can get everything from there, but it's about three times more expensive. When we were going, I thought there would be um, probably some nice traditional Arabic food to eat with vegetables at a really good price, but it's not like that at all. All the food they are selling is fast food. And by the time um, we left, we were ready to leave, leave um, Mecca to go to Medina. And, you know, my digestive system felt very sad, indeed. Do take some um, extra vitamins, or or whatever you think is going to help you. <laughs> go off to visit the Kaaba, make sure you take um, a plastic bag for your shoes. Make sure you bring them from home because when you take your shoes off there's nowhere to put them. Some people did take their shoes off and put them at the side somewhere. You're not allowed to do that and what actually happened is the bin men just come along and they just basically bin them. Now if that does happen to you, go outside to the public bins um, you might, may find your shoes there. I'd noticed quite a few shoes had been dumped there, so I'm not sure whether the binman put them there, but do go there and you might find your shoes. <laughs> There's so many people there. Take a sensible bag, a safe bag for your things. So um, a lot of people had, and I wish I had taken this, a lot of people had the um, a bag that sort of goes over over the um, shoulder um, and it it's, it seemed quite safe although you couldn't fit your shoes in there. I had the JD Sport kind of backpack thing and um, I put it I put it in the front and I could I could fit my shoes in there as well. <laughs> In terms of shoes, wear, wear comfortable shoes. You're not going to be wearing them around the car bar, but shoes probably without a strap because there's so many people there you want to slip them on and slip them off properly. My shoes had a strap because I thought they'd be good for walking, but it was just um, it was just annoying and inconvenient because it took too long to take your shoes off and put them on, and it's really hard when you've got lots of crowds. You just want to do it quickly. <laughs> This bump what to wear. Just show you what I wore. I took a couple of these maxi dresses. Um, they were very cool, and I just wore these. And on top, I wore on a buyer. Now I don't usually wear a buyers, but the good thing is pretty much everybody is in them. Is that they cover you, they'll cover you up, and it doesn't matter what you wear underneath. So you can you can stay quite cool, and there's plenty of fans everywhere. When we got up in the morning for the Hajjad and Fajr to go to the mosque it was a little bit chilly so I just wore some light trousers underneath my frock and on top of my abaya I just put on a cardigan and I just had, I, I, I bought quite a few things but I literally just wore the two frocks. Um, I wore one, I washed one, I wore and I, I, <laughs> then I wore the other. I, I, so, Start again. I just um, literally used 
two frocks um, and I washed them and I slept in them and it was it was just easy. <laughs> For the storeroom, I was washing my stuff and leaving it to dry. My mum had this like fold-up stool that she would take with her, so she could she could pray, <laughs> she could pray on it. And um, when it was folded, it made quite a nice drying rack, so I'd dry my clothes on it and my underwear and stuff. And um, one day, um, my mum and dad went off taking the stool with them, and they got halfway there. <laughs> And they noticed my underwear was still dangling at the bottom. <laughs>